In this video, we're going to be finding out how much it actually costs to boil a kettle, and I think the results might shock some of you. So when I was clearing out the loft earlier, getting ready to move house, I found this brand new kettle. So I thought, what better thing to do? What a better way to start the week than to boil it three times with different amounts of water and work out how much it actually costs to boil a kettle. So let's, let's play the video. I'm gonna talk you through it. And then at the end, I've got a little spreadsheet to show you all of the calculations. So this is just your average standard plastic kettle. Um, I think it's got a three kilowatt element, so that's roughly how much power it will use when it's switched on. We've got my smart meter here, so we can confirm the actual power usage at the time that it's actually drawing power. And then we've got my old Pixel 2 XL here with a stopwatch on, because I'm recording on my current phone. So there we go. We've got the kettle. So I'm not going to do an unboxing. There we go. Instant unboxing, as all unboxings should be. And to start off, we've got a highly scientific jug with 500 mil of water so we can do the first test. So the reason I've picked 500 mil is apparently a cup of tea, about 250 mil is required. So 500 mil is two cups. Now, if you've got a big mug or you're having a big coffee, that's not gonna cut it obviously for two people, but this is how we can do the experiment. 500 mil, the energy is currently using 350 watts approximately, and a stopwatch is good to go. So let's flick the power switch and there's a very slight delay before it actually starts to draw power. So the light's on, but it doesn't actually start pulling power. Wait for the noise. There we go, there's a very subtle noise there. And all of a sudden, we're drawing 3.3 kilowatt hours of power. So like I say, it is a three kilowatt element. Let me just uh, turn that down a bit so you can actually hear me talk. So the most important thing now is timing it. So the time is going, and what I'll do is I'll just skip forward because you don't want to watch a kettle boil. Obviously, it will never boil otherwise. So I'm going to skip forward until we're until things start bubbling away and we're just about to boil to save you guys as much time as possible. So here we are, just coming up to 60 seconds. The kettle is boiling away. We'll wait for the noise. Just, just turn this up so you can fully take in the boiling noises. Wait for the, uh, wait for the click. There we go. And that's one minute 10 or one minute 11 approximately. We'll say one minute 11 because it took me a second delay to press it in the first place. And the power consumption has gone back down. So remember, it was drawing about three kilowatts and it took just over a minute to do the boiling. So up next, we've got one liter of water this time. And what I did, I flushed out the kettle a few times with cold water to bring it fully back down to temperature. So this can be as a scientific as possible. So I'm just gonna instantly pour that one liter into the kettle. We can see here I did make a bit of a mess. That's why this is all damp. But we've got one liter in here, which is the equivalent apparently of four cups of tea or coffee. The power draw this time is around 310 watts before we press the button. So let's hit the, uh, hit the power button hit the stopwatch, and then like last time, I will skip through the footage as I imagine this is gonna take even longer. You know, the first one took one minute 10, one minute 11 to do. So we've got twice the amount of water to go. Let me just turn the power, the end, the uh, volume down there. So all we need to do now is wait for this to boil. So you'll see we're gonna skip here from 20 odd seconds. We should skip forward, I would imagine about two minutes. There we go, 2.02. We are boiling away. And again, we just gotta wait for the click and see the three kilowatt additional draw. That's clicked, this should drop down. Stop that at two minutes 12. Yeah, you can see there, if I pan back up in a minute, the uh, energy consumption dropped down as well. So that took one minute longer to boil uh, one liter as it did to boil 500 mil. So that's that's pretty good. I actually thought it would take a lot longer to, to do that. So this one here, we've got three times the amount. We've got 1.5 liters. So this is for six cups and I can't imagine most people needing to boil more than this, especially if it's just for tea or coffee, but obviously for other usages, you might be maxing out your kettle, especially if you've got a bigger kettle. But let's do six cups. The power is on, the stopwatch is on. Wait for the energy draw to start here. You should be able to hear the noise start to pick up. Yep, starting to pick up. And we've got the three kilowatts, or just under three kilowatt hours, starting to be added to the overall draw. And this is gonna take even longer still because this is 1.5 liters instead of 500 mil like the original test. So I'm gonna fast forward this and here we are at two minutes 56, coming up to three minutes. This is boiling away nicely. The, the energy draw is still over three kilowatts and we'll just wait for this to click off. Keep an eye on the timer here. So we are gonna click off any moment now. There we go, three minutes 10 stroke three minutes 11. So we'll put three minutes 11 as it always takes me a second or so to hit the button. So that is the experiment. You can see there's been carried out in real time for 500 mil, 1,000 milliliters, and 1,500 milliliters. So what I've got here is a spreadsheet with all of the figures that you guys are gonna need to see how much it actually costs to boil a kettle. So we've got two cups, four cups, and six cups, plus how long it takes to boil, how much energy was used, the cost, 
and predicted cost based on the energy price rises that are coming. So let's do the first column here. So I've converted all of those times into seconds. So it was one minute 11, two minutes 12 and three minutes 11. So 71 seconds, 132 seconds and 191 seconds. Now all three of them, because it was the same kettle, basically added around three kilowatt hours to the power draw. Now, in reality, it was just under that, but for ease of figures, I've just rounded it up to three kilowatt hours. So how much energy was actually used? So what to, to get this figure, what I had to do was work out how many seconds are in an hour. So that's 3,600 seconds. I then divided three kilowatts by 3,600 seconds, then times it by 71 seconds. And this is what we've got. So we've got 0.059, so about 0.06 kilowatt hours were used, 0.11 kilowatt hours, and just under 0.16 kilowatt hours were used. So based on the current cost, which is August 2022, so this is the current energy price cap that pretty much everyone in the UK is currently paying for the electric, that is around 30p per kilowatt hour. Now in October, the price cap is expected to raise again. We're gonna find out in a few days exactly what that is, but my predicted one is around about 50p per kilowatt hour for electricity. Um, but come the spring, this could be even higher. But if you boiled your kettle today, now in August 2022, these are the costs that you would be paying. So we have for two cups, just under 2p, for four cups, just over 3p, and for six cups, you'd be paying just under 5p. Now, to be honest, I found those costs shockingly low. I don't know why, I guess it's just we've always been conditioned to not overfill the kettle that much because it wastes lots of energy. And I guess it does waste a lot of energy. It just doesn't actually cost that much to do so. But having said that, if we put in the October cost with the first price increase that is coming, we're looking at around 3p for two cups, just under 6p for four cups, and 8p for six cups. You can see things can start to stack up. And I've based these annual costs here on the October cost as once we increase in October, I don't see any way we come back below that in the next 12 months. So that's why I've done these for the annual cost. So based on three boils a day, you'd be looking at around 30 pound for a 500 mil, 60 pound for one liter, and just under 90 pound for 1500 mil of boiling water. So I think those costs are still fairly shockingly low, but having said that, there's still no reason to overboil, and you can see how much money you do waste if you overfill the kettle. So hopefully you guys have found that interesting. If you did, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like button. If you wanna see more from me, more random stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And what I'm gonna do now is pop up a video talking you guys through exactly how you can claim up to 1,650 pound from the government to help you through this energy crisis, and I recommend you guys give that a watch.